And hello once again from Ninian Park. Half time, then Wales 1, Scotland 0. We've got a bit of a panel here behind us that uh, Good panel. keep a well, bit of a brave going. face on yeah. things. Some of the Scots, Jim, yeah, despite um, what has been a very disappointing first half for them. Uh, for Scotland particularly, yeah, they haven't played well at all, James, have they? But then it's not been a good game of football. Mm. But then I don't think we expected it really, did no, we? we didn't. A bit, a bit optimistic if they'd had all been pushing it about and it would have been a classic game. Simply speaking, Wales have battled better than Scotland and deserve to be winning, really. And they've battled better and uh, really was typified with the one and only goal, wasn't it? Coming, it was indeed. Coming yeah, early on doubt. with uh, a tremendous piece of sort of competitive play. A great tackle. By Peter Nicholas, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, you see, Peter Nicholas goes through two Scottish players. Now, it, I mean, I was a forward, but if I was Jock Steen, I'd be going berserk in the dressing room. Uh, after that incident because how are players allowed to get through two players like that and you can see it coming up again you know he should never great effort but he should never have done it and, and use it well I mean he wrapped it up beautifully right. didn't he can't argue with the way that he hit it I mean but he should never have really got the chance but it was a great goal the quality of that finish was was something pretty exceptional wasn't it oh yes he hit it fast furious low uh, no one was going to stop it now, early on, I think Brian Moore used the word uh, a bear pit out there. It was, it was very, very hard, yeah. as we suggested it might be. Yes. And there were a couple of nasty fouls early on. Yeah, there was, wasn't there? <laughs> sort of one, one on Ian Rush, wasn't there? Yes, indeed, there McLeish was. McLeish was involved and got a booking yeah. for it. Coming up here, I think. Yeah, I, I, McLeish got booked. I think, as we said at the beginning of the game, the referee had to stamp his authority on the game pretty quick. And you can see McLeish actually goes in a little bit late. He does catch Ian Rush. Rush is not the type of player to lay down right. and make it look like as though it was a bad foul. I think he called him genuinely. And the referee, I think rightly so, stamped his authority on the game at that particular time. Yes, and right at the end, uh, there was very nearly a second goal for Wales, wasn't there? With uh, the Scottish goalkeeper, Jim Layton, doing a yeah. bit of dribbling. I've got yeah. a theory, one of these days, one of these goals is, is going to go in. Oh, the goalkeeper's going to sort of get a top edge and it'll go in. It'll happen while, while this law where they can't pick the ball up applies because they're trying to obviously play the ball without handling it and sure enough i mean it'll happen especially when you've got players like mark hughes or keen who are watching that situation now we both felt scotland came back a little bit in the last 10 minutes they did, can you see yeah. them coming back and well almost saving themselves a trip to mexico now? uh to be honest um i thought that they would as you know get the result um before the match if they play like they did in the first half no yeah. I don't think they will. I think Wales have got it uh, firmly in command at the moment, Jim. Yeah. Gotta say that. Well, that's right. And although John Steen... I mean, Steve, we're Englishmen, neutral, we're, we're, but we can just sit back here and put it. our feet up, can't we? True enough. OK, Jimmy. Well, we'll look forward to hearing from you at the end of the game. Of course, still to come here, the whole of the second half live. We'll be back from Ninian Park in a couple of minutes' time. Once again from Ninian Park. Well, two key figures out of the Scotland team tonight. Kenny Dalgleish injured and Graham Soonis, the skipper, suspended. Soonis is now in the dressing room area and he's talking to Martin Tyler. Graham, your impressions of the first half? Well, I think if you're Welsh, you've got to be very happy. I mean, the goal, again, if you're Welsh, you know, Nicholas has done great. He's gone through, through two of the Scottish players and squared the ball um, and Hughes finished perfectly. If you're Scottish, you're saying that you know two lads going for the ball against one Welshman should be winning it. Did you see yourself in that position on the edge of the area where well, Peter Nicholas was going through? Yeah, only I only see it once. Said I'm looking defensively because um, it's at the Scottish end. But you, you know, you're hoping that you're going to, you know, as I say, two against one, you're going to win the ball there. That's where the problem came. You know, the guy's done great. Nicholas has done great to get there. But then again, you're hoping that the other two lads are favourite and going to come away with the ball, and then the problem is no more. What well, the to the Welsh. I mean, they've battled and they've battled well. But I just felt at that time when they scored, it was 10 minutes. That the game hadn't settled down, but it was beginning to. And uh, I still feel we can, we can pull this one out. Mark. What have Scotland got to do? Well, it's difficult tonight. I mean, you see the, you see the way the game's been played. It's, the goalkeepers have, will have sore legs tomorrow. You know, they're kicking the ball that much. I think um, you've got to keep playing the way it is. And for me, maybe Scotland gets some more men into the box when we do get the ball run about the, the edges of the box. Um, I still feel we can win it, because I think overall, you know, when people begin to tire of it, that's when ability comes into it, and I, I believe 
as a lot of people believe, we've got more ability than the Welsh when it comes down to it. But the Welsh are in the driving seat now. How have you felt watching? Frustrated? I'm not a watcher. This is, you know, um, I never watched, I never used to watch a lot of football when, when I was at Liverpool. I never liked watching. I'm not, not enjoying this tonight. Thanks, Gray. Thanks for your time. Let's go back to Jim Rosenthal. Right then, and let's go back to Jimmy Greaves. I mean, first of all, how much do you feel Scotland are missing Dalgleish and Sunas? Uh, well, Kenny, obviously, they're missing, but I think they're missing Graham much, much more. Because where they're lacking in Scotland is guidance. They haven't got any of it in the middle of the park, because not only can uh, Surrey mix it a bit, but he, he's he also got well. the skill. And that's what they're lacking, Jim. And they're missing him a great deal. The lads, Terry in particular, have been speculating about if Scotland are going to bring on a substitute. Uh, Davy Cooper of Rangers, who's a natural well, winger. They've got Maurice Johnson, got Andy yeah, Gray. Would well, you expect Jockstein to throw him in? Well, the Saint wanted Cooper to play, and I think he wanted McStay in the side. And I know that he'll be plumping for them two to come on as soon as possible. I don't know. I, th I think the way things are going, that they can put any two on, and it's it will make a bit of difference. Because, let's face it, the Scots are not getting much out of this game at the moment. And get nothing, are they? Right. And from a Welsh point of view, I would think Mike England will be saying to them, same again or do fine nicely, fellas. Well, Mike, I was speaking to Mike before the game and he said that he'd made his players very much aware that it was a 90-minute game. And uh, that's what he'll be saying. There's still 45 to go, lads. As Graham says, they are in the driving seat, Jim. Right. They're in the driving seat and uh, by the sound of it behind us, the teams are coming out. Here come the Scots. Those of you watching in Scotland, your commentators, Joe Jordan alongside Jock Brown, and for the rest of us, Terry Yorris, Ian St. John, and Brian Moore.